Okay, let's have some fun with coding in SketchUp in 3D. Um, we're going to use a scripting language that's called, or a code language that's called Ruby. It's built right into SketchUp, and you don't need much to get it going. Uh, all you need is a version of SketchUp, either Pro or Make. And for convenience, download the Ruby code editor extension and install it. And then you get a window like this here where you can type in whatever you want to right here. So once you have all of this ready, let's have some fun. Alrighty, so first of all, we're going to just do a tiny little thing. It's actually just a few letters, but we get something back from the computer. So we're going to type in UI and you have to make sure those are all capitals, then a dot, and then beep. And with any luck at all, once you hit play, it beeps. And that is our first step in making the computer do what we want to do. Alrighty, so that's one little thing. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do here. First of all, you can use this as a calculator. What if you want to find out what 2.5 times 45 is? Hit enter, and you get an answer right there. So what you see here is that the scripting language um, it's very easy to use. You just have to basically write a little set of instructions and it'll do what you want it to do. Now there's some more um, detailed uh, ways that things sometimes have to be spelled out. Uh, so one example would be if you wanted to take a square root of 25. SQRT is the short form for square root. And I'm going to open a bracket and say 25 and close that bracket again. This actually won't work because you will have to write before that that this is a math function. Math, double colon, square root, or SQRT, 25. And once you do that, you're going to get the right answer right here. So sometimes you can't just type um, it out. You have to know exactly what it is that is required, like this first part right here. But other than that, this is very powerful. All right, so let's have some fun with SketchUp here because we haven't done anything in SketchUp. This is actually all just the uh, Ruby language that we've been using. So make sure there's nothing here. Make sure all of this up here is in the editor. We're actually going to use this part here where it says end. It's a variable that contains everything that's in your model. And we're going to just type it, Oops, end. ENT, the sum all lowercase, because we're going to use exactly the one that we have up here. And we're going to add something right here. So you do that by typing a dot behind that, and then add an underscore and line. So use the ENT dot add line. So we're obviously adding a line to our model right here. Now, SketchUp at this point doesn't know where the line goes, so we're going to use a square bracket. And we're going to start at 0, 0, 0. Close the square bracket. Put a comma there. Open the square bracket and say 10, 10, 10. Then you close the square bracket again. I'm going to put a little bit of space between those two so that you see what's going on here. So we're adding a line from one point to the next. That's all this means here, the three numbers. And they always go in the three directions. So the red axis is the first number, green axis is the second number, and the blue axis is the third number. So in other words, 0, 0, 0 is right there. 10, 10, 10. We're going 10 units in the red direction, 10 in the green, and 10 in the blue. Now. Fingers crossed. Let's see if it works. Hit enter, and there we go. There's my line from 0 all the way up to 10, 10, and 10. Pretty simple, really, isn't it? So you can see here, um, it's, it's a very simple way to basically give SketchUp some kind of a set of instructions and get working with it. So I'm going to undo this last bit, which was us drawing a line right here, and I'm actually going to use this to draw three lines. So let's look at this here. I'm going to start at 0, 0, 0 again, and this time we're going to go to 0, 
20 and 0. Okay, I'm going to go further down, add line, and this time I'm going to start at 10, 0, 0. Right here, and I'm going to go to 10, 20, 0. Right there. Oopsie. That stuff always happens. All right, so first line from this point to that point. Second line from this point to that point, and you always have to put a comma in there because it's like first point, comma, second point. And now the third line goes like this here. Add line, and it starts at zero. S zero, ten, zero. And it goes to ten, ten, zero. All right, you figured out what I'm doing here? Those three lines, once you draw them, if I didn't mistype anything, spell an H, woohoo! <laughs> All righty, so this shows you what you can do with this. You can basically um, spell things, draw things, and now we're in 3D, so now you can use this to build objects, to do a little more than just lines. Uh, SketchUp actually has circles and all the the other objects that you would want to build with. So all of that is a little more explained in detail in the book, in the instructions for uh, chapter 7, where I go over scripting. But in principle, this is how that works. All right. Now this is all nice and good, but it's nothing bombastic. So let's go a little bigger. Now this time I'm going to copy a piece of code in here. And I'm going to replace what I had right here. There. Now this comes from the book. This is, I think, one of the first examples in Chapter 7. Uh, you can retype it or you can download the text file that you just pull right into here. And then you can execute this. So now let's make this zoom out a little bit right here. And I'm going to hit on Run or Play or whatever. Now, sketch up things for a second, and there you go. So this is now a fairly simple way to draw a whole lot of boxes right here. So I'm not going to go over what this code does in this block here. That one um, you can find out in uh, Chapter 7. I'm just going to show you what we have up here. So I can actually undo this. And then you'll see here that there are three variables. One is number of boxes, one is spacing, one is box size. So what if I only make this three boxes and increase the spacing? Look at this here. Now you can do this kind of stuff. So, so this shows you already. Let me make these a little bigger. There you go. Already, oh, you can have fun with this. You know, once you create some kind of code, feel free to play around with the numbers and just make whatever you want to make in SketchUp. Now, you got to be a little careful. If you did something like this here, you might as well go for lunch because SketchUp's going to work for a while. So don't do that right away. But other than that, there you go. There's one more. Other than that, it's a great way to learn coding or scripting with the language Ruby in SketchUp. And you can do that, like I said earlier, in SketchUp Make or SketchUp Pro with just one extension, the Ruby Code Editor. This is pretty easy to do. So have fun with it. <laughs>